Hello everybody, welcome to the 2-Bit Circus Foundation and, um, and this is Kane and today we're going to be building a soccer game out of cardboard um, So materials needed are like some hot glue, cardboard, ruler and pencil And the first step I'm going to do, I'm going to get like a big sheet of cardboard Something pretty big, well, it depends, this is going to be like a table size um, soccer game So depending on how big you want it to be, that's how you can make it so I'm going to make it about, um, oh, my rule is at to the left of it. Yeah, so this right here. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to make an outline, a little line across it. Good morning. Why is the chat so small today? I can't, you know, like it's tiny. There we go. Now I can see everybody's comments. Okay. So now I have um, my cardboard line, but it's not straight. I don't know why. So let me just redo it. <laughs> Mike from 2-Bit. Straight now. So what I'm gonna be doing now? I'm gonna just cut it. So what kind of cardboard uh, soccer game are you building? Is it like football? Uh, we like flick it. Oh, you do, oh. A little flicking game, yeah, something like that. That's kind of the same game I had in my arcade, pretty much. Most of these games are kind of inspired from arcade or like similar to my arcade. So, so all these um, activities and projects are basically behind the scenes of Yeah, or like the building process. Mm -hmm. So now, um, this is going to be like my soccer right here. And now I'm going to try to like build like a wall around it. Then I'm going to make like a little goal post right here. Then um, I'm going to try to build like some action figures or like something right here. So yeah, let's see what I can do. I'm debating how big I want the wall. Make the walls this big. It took me a long time because I didn't know what type of games I wanted. So I was always like experimenting and see what games would fit best. Then I finally got to like five games that were perfect for, for my arcade. It was a soccer game, basketball game, claw machine, ski ball. I don't know if that was four or five I just named, but then I always had like different games that rotated. Like if it didn't mean my like, if I didn't really like it, I would just take it out. Yeah. Yeah. I always try to like switch up one game. One game, I always like experimenting see which one I like. Then one time I try to build like a key master. You know what a key master is? No, no? what is a key master? It's like, um, well, it's kind of like a claw machine. Okay, yeah, it's the same thing, claw machine, where you, you go like this, or you go, you could control it, go to the right, but you only have one chance to go to the right. Then once you stop, you have to go up. Then once you go up, once you stop, and that's it. And try to make it into the holes. It's like different holes across it. Then it's like different prizes, and most of the prizes are really like big things, like iPads or like money or like I don't know, like a trip somewhere or something like that. So yeah. Uh, okay, I know what you're talking. So yeah. where the actual lever, or the stick, is an actual key. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's like you yeah, a little, cycle. yeah. So I try to make one of those out of. Um, I didn't really have like a glass in front. It was just like a little stick. Then I would tell the people you only have one time to go to the right. 
and once it stops, like something go up, and once it stop, and there's gonna be the little hole right there, and you try to like push it in. But I was looking at them to see that once you push it in, they go a little down a little bit. That's how no, you're cheated. You try to go as straight as possible. Then if you make it, then you make it. But it was pretty hard. I didn't really like it because it wasn't that nice. Like the presentation wasn't wasn't nice enough for me. So I just took it out. Like next one. And then that's where air hockey came in. So I brought air hockey in. But that one actually stayed. That one stayed for a long time. That was one of my favorites. Let me see. So now I'm going to be building this. I'm not building it. I'm going to be putting this right, right here in this corner. So I'm going to get my hot glue. Is this, same as fo is this the same as football? Um, I feel like it is pretty much the same thing as football. Kind of the same thing as football. You could make it like a two game, like soccer game slash football. But yeah, similar concept. At that time, when the film was being recorded, um, those are all the games I pretty much had. But after the film came out, then I was um, like starting to have more customers. I needed more games because um, I had like a lot of like customers coming in, and all the games were like being played and stuff. So I had to think about more games. Then I eventually got a. Um, I was able to build a ticket blower or like a ticket grabber or something like that, where the tickets blow around. So you're like um, you're in like a little box, or I'm gonna tell you how how I built mine. But um, so I used a refrigerator box, and I cut out like a little door, so you get in. Then um, I put the leaf blower on, and there's tickets on the floor, and you just try to grab the tickets. And so that was my like ticket blower machine. Yeah. How long did that take you to build? That one wasn't that long. It was very easy. It was very simple. Yeah. So you just built the, uh, you just cut a hole, a hole in the front. Yeah, for the door. Put, like, the hole. No, it was um. No, uh, I cut out uh, like a door figure in the front. It's oh, so, like the piece of cardboard that I cut out. Mm -hmm. I put like, little flaps onto it so it actually closed and opened. Then inside the door, I put like a little window so I can actually look in. And um, yeah, then I had like a little emergency exit on top. It was like you just like punch it out, then it just comes out. So just in case of any um, emergency that happened, you know, like you always want to be safe. Yes, so I always uh, yeah, I always thought about my customer safety too when I was building arcade. So I had an emergency exit at the top <laughs> for their safety. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, in, in this car, they could have just ripped the door. I'm sure it was always, like, little kids always playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess you're a dog, you just punch the thing. <laughs> you just come out of the cardboard, but... <laughs> yeah, so... This is dry now. This is, like, a, a wall. A little wall. Let's see. Haha, <laughs> would the players be attached to the large poles across the field. What do they mean by that? There's a, uh, have you seen the comments are saying that they should have an arena foosball? You know, like the foosball where the, all the foot are... The oh, okay, uh-huh. And so, like, if they did do a real-life uh, foosball arena, will uh -huh. all the players be attached to a big pole and, just, like, someone spinning it or what? Uh, yeah. Oh, like, somebody with a little controller could just spin them around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now this is done. So I'm trying to build this thing. Try so to get you were concerned for your customer safety in the Kane's arcade. So yeah. I'm assuming you always had like a safety kit with you or band aids because I'm assuming it's cardboard. Uh huh. Some almost. Yeah, I mean a band aid doesn't really help. Uh, I mean for a kid it'll help the kid, but an adult we have a little cut. I don't think to put a band aid no more, you know. I think it's a little fake. <laughs> Not fake, but I don't like band aids. But um, yeah, I did have safety kits at uh, Marquette, you know. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, get like another wall. So you put it right there. Cut out another wall.
Okay. So now I'm going to be placing a hot glue across. So I'm placing hot glue across right here so I can make the wall. So the little sucker ball doesn't fly out. Yeah. So Andy and Ian pointed out is the US is the, is the only one to call it soccer. Do you yeah. call it soccer or do you call it football? I call it soccer. Call it soccer. Yeah. Some of my family calls it football, but I just call it soccer. Football? Yeah. I don't know. I just I was used to saying soccer my whole life, so I just say soccer. And not a lot of people. Oh, some people. Most people know it, but not a lot of people know it's called football, like in other countries. So I think it's just easier to say soccer when you're like in a conversation again. Well, because I think here in the United States we get confused, right? Uh huh. The football, football is like the they other sport. Say yeah. Like the American football. Yeah. You know, like That's how in in Spanish they say. Yeah. What do they say? American football, Americano football. What do they say? Americano football. Yeah. American football or, yeah. But then, like, you know, they, they show that Canada and Japan also called it soccer. Yeah. I think I'm going to try to put these somewhere, like, as, like, um, Oh, that looked cool right there. That looks cool. Put these right here. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but it looks nice. <laughs> okay. So now I'm getting this one. Oh, my good side. Goal. Yeah, I've been to a soccer game a couple times. I've been to a football game a couple times. American I do watch sports games actually. You are, you are I watch watch sports, sports games, but I don't really watch like TV, like TV, TV. Games. But sometimes, rarely, I watch Netflix, but not really. What kind of soccer or football game? Do you I've been to an um, LA Galaxy game. Okay. I forgot how I got the tickets, but um, something I don't know. It was because um somebody knew me from there, like one of the. Somebody, I don't know what, at the LA Galaxy knew me or something like that and asked me if I wanted to come oh, out to the game. Yeah. Then, um, football game. It was in San Diego for the Chargers. Oh, when they were still part of the San Diego Chargers? Yeah. This was a long time ago. This was like a couple years ago. Actually, not a couple years ago. Probably like five years ago, six years ago. Yeah, I think the Chargers moved over here. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was this. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of their clothes, the Chargers clothes, San Diego, uh, Marshalls. <laughs> oh, you've been seeing a lot of Marshalls? Yeah. Well, because now, you know, LA, uh -huh. or, uh, well, Chargers part of LA now. Yeah. So they don't know where to send the clothes to, so they just send the Marshalls. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, now we got two, two folks, uh, soccer players from Canada and Canada. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Are you a, are you a Rams fan? Um, not really. I was just said uh, I was at Burlington the other day, and they had a fifty percent off sale. It was nine ninety nine originally, but the fifty percent off it was five dollars. So I was like, and it's an LA team, so you know, this LA. <laughs> so I just bought it. And it was and it was a new era, or a brand new era, what do you call it? So it's a pretty good brand. Yeah. I used to watch a lot of basketball too when I was younger, and, but I just stopped watching it, I don't know why.
Also, because I don't have the cable at home, too. Like, cable. Well, I actually do, but only in my mom's room. But my room, I only have Netflix and, like, mm. like the smart TV stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't really use I it. Um, so right now I'm just making my um, soccer game. Right now I'm building all the walls that I need for it. Yeah. And this is my last wall. Then I'm gonna start getting to the designing of it. I used to watch like this um, like SWAT team show. It was like a border patrol slash like SWAT team. And that's what like before when I was younger, that's what I used to want to be, border patrol and like a SWAT team. I actually want to be uh, border patrol. Yeah, or like. Uh, like a DEA agent or like a CIA, I don't know, something up there. Oh, you want to be something up there? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> something where they like, something special. <laughs> what made you change your mind? Um, I don't know, like, I just, um, well, I want to be my own boss, that's what I want to be. Then like doing that, I won't be able to have like the freedom that I want. So I was like, okay, I won't do that no more. Then I was scared of like all the boot camp stuff. So I was like, oh yeah. You, you don't think you'll make it through? <laughs> no, I don't think I'll make it through boot camp. <laughs> yeah, they do got some rigorous training, so I understand. Uh, I understand you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys have like a uh, like But I like when they do like um like crazy like um when when there's like a hostage or something and like I don't know I like the whole like scenario. Well, I, I like, I want to do like the planning part. You get me like, oh, okay, we have to go from here, attack from this side, and like do this, this, and this, and this, yeah. And so you like the planning, so which made you want to start your own business, you want to start planning your own yeah. way out of it. Like yeah, yeah. Then uh, Money Heist, I was watching Money Heist on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Money Heist or no? I haven't seen it. Um, well, it's like a, um, they rob into a like, I don't know what it is, but you're able to make your own money at this place. I think it's a, it's a museum slash where they make their money at, like this country. So like they're making their own money, and these people just come in and start like take over the whole thing, and the police is trying to like um, go in there and stop them, but they can't because they don't know how to attack it and like all this stuff. So they have this one guy that's like really smart. He's part of the bad team, like the bad guys. And, like he just listens to the cops all day long on the like I don't know what they do like little like they're just listening to see what their next moves are. So it tells the people inside. I don't know. It's really good. So like, that's what I don't know. Yeah. So, man. Yeah. And then, so that whole planning mentality builds into your, all your creations, all your projects. Pretty much, yeah. Like I like to creating out of cardboard. Sometimes I like to plan. Sometimes I don't. Because if I plan, um, I feel like I'm limited. To like what I what I just planned, but if I don't plan anything, like I just start making things and I start switching it up, and yeah. So you're more, you like the open endedness of it. Yeah. I don't know why, but um, I just like how these look right here. Looks like pretty cool. I don't know. It looks like a little bumper or something like to protect it. <laughs> then I'll be making my goal thing right here, somewhere around here. So yeah. Yeah, that's how I usually want to be like a SWAT team. So like if, the, uh, if you go on YouTube or something and look like uh, old interviews about me, my question would be like, oh, what do you want to be, Kane, when you're older? I was like, oh, I want to be part of the SWAT team. But now, like once I turn like 13, 14, I start switching it up. I still want to be like a game designer and stuff, but I don't like that either. Like, I don't, I don't know. know what, what, uh, what didn't you like about it? Um, well, I didn't like all the work you had to put in. Because um, I like designing it, like telling people what to do. But I don't want to be in there, like, designing it, designing it, you get me? Okay, so you're more of a, you, you like the, the planning and managing of it, yeah. rather than the actual, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, so you do have that uh, entrepreneurship yeah. mentality. Okay. Then now I'm trying to make my, so I'm going to get some cardboard for the back. And uh,
gotta make my goalpost. So I'm planning to make here. Zello will figure out how to use it now. <laughs> That's good. I really like all the, like, the Wi-Fi we're using. Like, there's not too many people using it today. So uh, that can improve the quality of the video. Yeah, once uh, uh, there's more uh, equipment, as long as the Wi-Fi does get up to Hawaii, probably that will be one of our situations as well. Something like that, I heard about it before. They're saying that they originated in China, Greece, and also parts of Central America. Yeah, how'd you learn about that? On your phone right now? or? Uh, uh, when I went to. Uh, oh, okay, because I saw you looking down right now. I thought you were like, researching it right now. <laughs> Right now I'm making like this, um, I'm cutting holes into it, so I'm trying to make like a little, you know how like go net has like holes inside of it, so that's what I'm trying to do inside my cardboard, but I'm going to see how this turns out. Looks okay. So I'm gonna just do it a couple more times. drive-through graduation of my school. Are you excited for that? Um, yeah. I was, I was um, kind of sad that we had to do like a um, online graduation. But since now we got to do like kind of in person, a little more happier. Yeah, we're going to, only I can get off the car, and I go get my diploma and take a picture like next to my principal or something like that, then I, I go back in the car and that's it. I thought it was going to be like a drive through with the, like, the principal like behind a window and just handing you your oh. diploma. <laughs> So, 
I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but um, I kind of want this to be like a little like um, it's gonna be like a goal, like the goal. Uh, like a goal post? Yeah. Goal. But I'm trying to make little holes into it, kind of like the net, oh, okay. like that. Yeah. My favorite part? Um, I'm not sure. I'm um, just like making it is fun. I know that's my favorite part. The creative process of making it. I've never really done this part, like um, like making a goal like this. Like oh yeah, this. you haven't made a goal. Uh, no, goal net not like this. Yeah, we made a goal net, but it was just like a box and just cut it out real quick. Mm -hmm. Really, very simple. But this is like a little bit more nicer, a little bit more design. So we're at halfway point. Do you want to recap what you have to start to this point? So yeah, um, I have made the, the ground floor of my soccer game. And now I'm um, making my little go. This is like for this right here. Then I'm gonna add like a little roof on top. So um, yeah. Then um, I'm gonna try to add like some like people right here or something. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna see. Oh, it always changes when I'm making my things. So I might start adding like some I don't know like flags right here or something. So I don't know. I have different ideas I want to do to it so far. Yeah, I'm gonna put like some people right here. I'm gonna, like some goalies, so to block it, to make it a little more challenging. plans on like making a um, I kind of had like, a little plan in my head of making like, an actual soccer game it was going to be made out of like wood, of car wood and cardboard and I was going to control like the little goalie with the stick and you try to kick it in so, yeah. um, that game is a little big so I was like yeah, I don't know how or where I'm going to put it at my arcade so you're trying to make this one life size like yeah this one's like actual life size they have these like amusement parks, I've never seen one before. Mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty cool one where um, they usually have one like at, at soccer games. Uh -huh. uh, where there's a sensor inside the ball. Uh -huh. And there's a goalie. And once you kick the ball, uh -huh. there's that sensor and the goalie actually talks to each other. The goalie actually blocks, like actually moves the way where the ball is going. Really? Because some of those games are like scams, or not scams, but um, business, or I don't know how you call those. Well, it, it, what's the point of there's no challenge to it, right? Yeah. Like the, the way you're doing it right now, you're, you're going to ask some defenders and a goalie. Yeah. Because if it was just someone you know, hitting the ball and make the goal every time, yeah. there wouldn't be a challenge or fun to it, right? 
I'm just making the roof, the, the roof part for it. I'm trying to see if this fits it now. Let's get it. Do we have more hot glue? part now of it. But um let's see. It's kinda hard to show it. Um so yeah, hold on. Once I'm done with it, I'll show you guys right now. It is a little big on the side. What you need to is cut it. my hot glue. I'll be putting more right here in the corners. So for this project you are you use a good amount of glue, right? Um about like two to three, four, six around there. So they're not regular sticks, they're like the jumbo ones, right? <laughs> yeah, a little big. For this dry, <laughs> and, um, so what kind of prices did he give um, on your change that day for this book? For the book? Prices? Yeah. What do you mean? Like the prices I had for the whole arcade? Yeah, for the, did you, yeah, did you give him like tickets for this? Oh, or um, prices? well, at first, when I already started to run my arcade, I tried to have like a ticket system, mm -hmm. but um, since I started to get like too many customers, I couldn't really handle the ticket system, I couldn't really, uh, give people tickets so what I started to do was um, every fun pass came with a prize no matter what and um, you get a prize at the end so if you didn't get a prize during the whole time like the only way you get a prize playing the games was from the claw machine and if you didn't get one from there you could just pick one from the prize wall and that was at the end like you did it at the end when you're finished playing your games there's only one prize per fun pass per fun pass yeah. so was that every time that oh, let's say for my, myself I would purchase a fun pass uh huh Oh, you after? After I finish playing. After you finish playing, about to go home or something. Okay. Yeah. Now, how good was how how long was the front pass for? Um, you could play uh, five hundred times. Five hundred times. Yeah. So I could have gone at least once a day every year. 
Um, like once a day for a year. Oh, you played 500 games. 500 games. Yeah. So I could have gone, but I could have, uh, it was like a year past still, or it was just uh, I played it that day. I don't know. It, it has, um, I would say it had loopholes in the system. Mm-hmm. But um, typically a person would have come back again. If they did come back, they will just buy a new fun pass because they wanted like, another toy. Okay. Yeah. Well, I had like a 30-day thing. I remember having like a 30-day thing. But it was only open every other week or one weekend. You get me? Oh, so you were only open in, uh, like two times a month. But first, I would buy like toys from the 99 cent store for a dollar, but then it started to get too expensive. It was just like too expensive. So I started um, getting toys like wholesale prices. So I was getting them for like 50 cents, 60 cents. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Okay. How does that look? Yeah. And before I just had like a little box. I just cut out like a little hole. So it was like it was like a normal box like this, mm-hmm. but I just cut out a hole right here and just put that as the thing. Uh, Mike Tube is asking, are are they going to see Gonzalo and Kane battle it out again? And Mike stated that's stage four of reopening. Right now we're still staying six feet apart. And is this a two player game or one player? Game? Uh, this is a two player game. But you have to take turns, right? Yeah, I got to take turns. Yeah. Okay. for the people and not for me so I try to get like different um different toys it's like for every like person I try to get for every person yeah. and, what, and what did the people like um back then there was like, this thing that was very popular it was um it was like a little slingshot it was like an LED light and it was like it was like a little bird and you like shoot it up with the rubber band and it comes back down I don't know if you've seen it before has any oh yeah <laughs> I've seen it before yeah like at the mall they're charging like 20 bucks for a little toy but if you get a for wholesale price, it's only like 50 cents, so. Uh. They have that entrepreneur mindset, right? Yeah. They have to make money. I remember one time I was at Palm Springs. It was like a night. And that little bird thing looked pretty cool, like flying down and stuff. So, yeah. So that was the most popular toy people would. Yeah, one of the popular toys people liked. This is, this is like a little flag or something. Does it tell like it's like a flag? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a, that yeah. looks like a flag. Yeah. yeah. Put this right here or something. Okay. Now I'm be putting the hot glue right here. Oh. What are you doing right now? Are you, oh, you're trying to glue it back on? Yeah. Whoopoo. Right there. I don't know if that's even, but um, I already placed it down, so we got to deal with it. <laughs> that's some hot glue. You can see the steam coming out of it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Extra hot today. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. You have this game. Thank you. Now I have some markers so I can um, decorate my, my game.
Yeah. So, uh, let me cut this out. Okay. So now I'm making my, um, this is my soccer game. So far I have uh, the goalpost. There's little, like, things on the side. I don't know what they really are. Just, like, little bumpers. And I have, like, a little flag. So, yeah. Then right now, I'm making... Out of paper. Out of paper? Yeah. So I need um, like a I need like a plain white piece of paper. Awesome. Yeah. That's how it was in the original game. I had like, a little plain white piece of paper. Oh in the original game, yeah. Alright. We'll get you your piece of paper. Yeah. Too. So I do have a little um I don't know what we call these little balls. Ball. Yeah. But um this will work too. Oh, yep, that works perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> So what, I, what I'll do with this, I'll just cumber it up and put tape on it, but I'll do that at the last. So, um, I want to see what I can do with this, but I'm not sure what the purpose will be for it so far. I wanted to have, um, I think I might just put it, so I was going to make three of these, and these are like the three different points you can put your, your ball at. So, three of the what? So it's like little place setters where you put your ball at. There's going to be one here, one here, and one here. So that's what I'm going to do. I think you're going to have to color those. Huh? I think you're, you're going to have to put like a designer color, because once I, s I was trying to see it from the overhead, uh -huh. it blends in. Oh. <laughs> This is one place you can have your ball at. So put it so this is like one of the rules. You have to place your ball right here. And you like click it in. So you say you don't have three different Yeah, one right here. Like yeah, so, well right now it's really simple. Hold on. I'm gonna try to. Okay. So now once you start, I don't know. I think I might just have one. Then we we'll start making like a really obstacle, hard obstacle. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna draw this person out. So you gonna make persons or are you gonna make uh, like buffers?
I'm trying to make my little people. Now I'm making my little goalie person. Now, as you can tell, have um one little goalie person. So yeah. Hard enough. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, so now. Okay. So now it's a little more harder. Whoops. Okay. So now I'm gonna try to make another couple other goalie persons. I'm gonna try to make a bigger version of it. A huge one. around three but this time I'm put a little more right now I'm just testing it out to see we're not making one really huge one like the king of the kings I just had laying around, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna just use that. Yeah. I think that was my favorite part of the, the original one. <laughs> yeah, little army men, attending yeah. soccer field. Yeah. Make sure no bad guys are coming in. Was the original one uh, around this size or smaller? Uh, around this size. Not that long, probably like, um, a couple hours to design and make. Actually, that's what I when you actually designed it. Not, 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 not a little bit, yeah. The army people. Yeah. And today, you're just working from memory? 
Yeah. I like some some glue. Let me see. Making a little uh, extra support, so when we do have um, somebody hitting it, hitting it a little extra hard, it can take the hit. Cause I don't want it to um, get hit, then just, just like fall. So uh, can you see it? So I have like um, I don't know. I'll just put like a little, put a little cross, you know, for him. Oh, a little support system. A little support system yeah. yeah. So uh, let me, I'm not sure when we putting this at. I was thinking about putting it in front of that, but um, I think we'll just like put it right here somewhere. Yeah. Right, that's a big one right there, man. That's a big one, Mamacita. <laughs> King of the kings. That, that, that's looking, that looked like my size, and then the other one, the other one looked like your size. <laughs> that's me, Gonzalo, in the game. <laughs> so, let um, so. Yeah. Very challenging game. That's why I said it in the video. I don't know if people remember. All right, so whoever's playing this, they must, if they make a goal, they're going to get a good price. Um, I think they just get like a high five from me, you know? Uh, we pretty good. We can't do high fives, man. Huh? We can't do high fives. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> we get air five. I think get air five, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more of a soccer game, but this is just the goalies or the players blocking it from the. You know what I mean? Right now, we're gonna put it in action. Yeah, this is how the, the ball was in the video. So you go back to the video. This is how you see the ball. The little what's the ball again? You had the what is it called? Uh, uh, ping, pong ball. ping pong. Yeah, it's a little too bouncy on cardboard. Oh, okay. I don't think this would be a little too bouncy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, then maybe we put some like uh, um, fences or something, something like yeah. Ah. Hold on. So this. Uh -huh. Trying to make this. Okay, there we go. I got it. Perfect. Ah. 
Okay. Perfecto. No. So, uh, let me just show my game now. I guess you can put um, more colors to it later on. You can do it to your game too. But, um, so what I have is um, a place where you place your ball at. Three different goalies. I wanted to add three different, what do you call it, like places? Placements? Yeah, the ball. Then I'll, I'll put like another two more goalies. But uh, I just put one, three goalies, my little goal. Then I add a little holes to it. So it looks like a real net, like a net has holes to it. Then I add like these little things. I'm not sure what the purpose is for them, but um, I think it's just so that the ball doesn't go to the corner. You know, just keep it out in the, in the field. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add in like, um, what do you call it? So if the ball, if you flick the ball and it goes in the back and it still makes it in here, so then you shoot it, it hits the back and goes, hits one of the goalies and goes in there, then um, uh, it doesn't count. Yeah. And, um, so you want to you demonstrate it for, for viewers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can they see it? Yeah, right now they can see it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let me see. I'll make this real tiny. I'm gonna try to add some like uh, tricks to it. So I'm gonna try to hit like bank wall, hit like uh, off the wall. Oh, okay. Dang it. Nope. Oh. Nope. I think I can make it right here easily. Ooh, made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I was trying to aim it at you. Sorry. <laughs> nope. I, I can make it right here. Whoops. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get some little balls over here. Alright. I'm going to try it one more time. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you found some more obstacles. Whoops! <laughs> Man down! <laughs> Ooh! Thank it. <laughs> Alrighty. As you guys can tell, a little bit. Let me see. Let me do one more, one more. Last one for the people. Let's make it. Oh, whoops! Hold on, right, right, right. <laughs> right, right. Hello. Nope. Okay. Well, as you can tell, this is my soccer game here. And then I just added like these little two things that actually fall down. So um, if you hit it, it'll fall down, and maybe it'll stop the ball from coming. But thank you for joining the live stream today, and um, see you guys next Thursday. And this is my soccer game. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, okay. uh,